Hey Best Pally, I'm Ally, and this one time I made a fur room in my apartment, and then 1.5 million of you saw it, and then a whole lot of you were like, you should spend 24 hours in there. So, this is that. Wait, I should probably shower. Okay. Three, two, one. And now, in the soothing calmness of being completely surrounded by fur, I'm trapped. Here's how this is gonna go down. That is a time-lapse camera capturing all 24 of these hours. I got some water, my laptop, a nightlight so you can see that I'm sleeping in here. I also have a piano in here answering the age-old question, if you're left on a deserted fur room, what one thing would you bring with you? Look, if you're mad that I brought stuff in here with me, no one's made a fur room and challenged themselves in it before, so it's not like there were rules from before. Actually, no one's done most of the stupid things I come up with. But hey, if this goes well, then maybe I'll do one in the future with nothing and not even a clock to know how long it's been. Nope. Mm -mm. Cut this out, Carl. Which, by the way, this is gonna be a doozy to edit for Carl, my editor, who's totally gonna do that for me. Oh yeah, and where did I put my pee bucket? Just kidding! I'm a maniac, but not like a maniac. So I will allow exit to the toilet for toilet purposes only and then back in. We are 26 minutes in and I'm cracking open the reserves. I actually have another one of these because YouTuber dehydrates in her office is not a headline that I want. Hi, Mom. Yeah, I'm currently locked in confinement. What? No, they can't see you. She's worried about being in the video. It's funny, she's seen what I would call the initial iteration of this fur room, which is when I made a hug in art school, in college. How do you make a hug? Basically, you learn welding, woodworking, and upholstering, and then you build what's like a three-walled phone booth that's fuzzy and bends as you walk deeper into it, so it hugs you. I had to find a photo for you. Really wish I was better at documenting my art back then. But yeah, I said art school, and yes, I got a degree in whatever that was. My place is refurbished. It's 2.34 right now, and at this hour, I've never pelt so tired. Like, I'm doing a usual work day, except it's got this layer of softness and silence that's making me so snoozy. I thought maybe some fur release would wake me up. Two hours and 52 minutes marks the first toilet break. Holy crap, I didn't realize how hot it's getting in here. That window's open. Wish I would have drank more water so I could have peed longer. It's funny I intended this to be a fuzzy hug, but now I'm testing out can you be hugged for too long. And this 24 hour lonely hug happens to be my Valentine's Day video. Perfect. Because every year for Valentine's Day, I do a ridiculous challenge that shows how ridiculously alone I am. We all are. First I ate 103 shrimp, and then the next year it was 51 oysters, aphrodisiac. And then it was a whole boat of sushi, and then Gallon Wines Day, which you get it. Oh, and last year I made myself a date by sculpting 20 pounds of white chocolate into a replica of Michelangelo's David. And yeah, he was delicious. Although I've done plenty of challenges outside of this romantic holiday. I once wore a 12 pound weight vest for seven days straight. Oh, before that, I went 10 days only eating Soylent. I forgot I got a gift of some weird white athletic tights and then I just didn't take them off for a week. And I memorized pie to 500 places and proved it while eating a giant pie. Ooh, do you want to hear the first 50 digits? I mean, what else do we have to do? Please note, I do not have pie written on my fur walls. 3.141592653589732643843823271971693993751. Was that 50? That might have been 51. Anyway, now that all the cool kids have clicked away, welcome nerds, you're my people. Wait, I just remembered another challenge. This selfie suit that I made of me and then I wore it for eight days straight. <laughs> and then I made a cardboard cutout of me wearing it and put it into the Los Angeles Museum of Art. Which isn't necessarily a challenge, it's more of me proving that I am art. Look, just <laughs> come over and I'll show you. I've been thinking I should give meditation a shot and this seems like the perfect time. I don't know if you could tell, but I'm the kind of person that has a little trouble shutting off her brain. I also can't shut off my friends because my buddy Drew called and he is on his way. So I guess screw meditating and screw all the people that say I shouldn't have anybody in here because I never said this was solitary Confirmment. Toilet break number two because Drew makes me laugh a lot and that's dangerous. You can't wash fur. Shoes off, sir. That's the rule. Did you not read my cross stitches? Is this what you it's pictured? It's quite warm in here. I know. Well, I've been in here for five hours, so. I'm getting dizzy. It's been a while since I farted, so you're probably fine. When do I start taking drugs? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you need your name. Uh, did you find it? We went to this weird event. And they have this crazy photo booth with a skull and a bowl of fruit. So we're just like, what we should do? I'm an artist and we should make Adam and Eve in this scenario. We ducked behind it, took off our clothes, then came up covering them with props. My mom was like, what the hell are you 
<laughs> I've only been here for like 10 minutes, but it feels like forever. <laughs> Stop, punning is my job. He's going to get the bear because he said we should have animals in here. Okay, well, also that's on my couch that's a dry erase board if you wanted to write on it. There's not any room. What's the temperature in here? A honey tree degrees. <laughs> I also would have accepted unbearable. I almost forgot that I got him by going on a safari and capturing him in a one-part documentary. Get it out of here. It's so hot. What hour am I on? It's it's getting difficult. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. <laughs> Drew made it about one hour, and I've made it about seven, which means it's 6.51 p.m., and I haven't eaten yet today. I actually fast every day until really late. I just did a video on my Fitness Outrageous channel explaining why I do it. I would have same breakfast. Uh, okay, I usually eat the same meal every day, and I made a video about that too a while ago. Also, it has its own foodie Instagram. But yesterday, I did not make same breakfast. Let's go to former me for the scoop on that. Thanks, future me. Hello, and welcome to the day before I enter my fuzzy prison. I'm just hanging out on my lawn, which is another outrageous thing I've done in the past. But now it's time to get cooking. And because HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit, I mean that literally. The thing is that they have over 20 to seasonal chef curated meals every week and that's supposed to break you out of your rut. I've done same breakfast for like six years so you know what I'd call that? A rut. A big part of why I started doing same breakfast is because planning meals stresses me out and HelloFresh gets rid of all the meal planning and prepping. I feel so great how long cooking takes. Oh, these meals take 30 minutes and they also have 20 minute quick recipe options? That's so efficient. I love efficiency, that's why I leave my cupboards open to save time. And it's even efficient for the planet because HelloFresh's carbon footprint is 25% less than a grocery made store bought meal. And now I feel like a good person too. You can easily change your delivery days or food preferences or skip a week because sometimes you're trapped in a fur room and can't get a package. If you wanna try this out, how about, I don't know, 10 free meals for free? I just said free twice. Go to HelloFresh.com and put in code AliSpagnola10 for 10 free meals and even free shipping. I ordered for a family of four because what better way to celebrate Valentine's Day by yourself? For real, they've been really easy to make and I'm the last person that should be cooking and I'm doing it while talking to you. Now I hope you can hear me over this sweet sizzle because you gotta go get your 10 free meals with free shipping. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code AliSpagnola10. And now I'm gonna go eat my face off to fuel up for being stuck in my office. Oh yeah, look at this. <laughs> Back to you, future me. Future me here. So glad former me took care of me. Thanks, friend. No problem. I mean, you're my favorite person. OMG, same. This is great. Also, look, I'm eating on a step and repeat. Oh, cool. We made that. Yeah. But, like, we should end this bit. <clears throat> yeah, you're right. Eight hours in and it's getting rough. Let me just give you a POV. This is what it's like to be me right now. I just remembered, I had a fuzzy bike too. But that was only after I made it a glow bike. But before I turned it into a drum set. Oh yeah, and I did a whole music video where I played the drums and saxophone while biking. Ooh, outside, remember that? I would rather be biking right now. I need to do some push-ups here soon. I know, based on what you've seen me do today, it doesn't seem like I'm active, but I swear I am. I was an NHL ice girl, and I trained with the army once, and I've broken three Guinness World Records. You can't keep the fastest woman on a space hopper caged up like this. I'm just revving my engine, but I can't get out of the farage. And I just counted 300 push-ups. Oh, that was stupid. Why did I do that? Honestly, it was better than not doing it. Plenty of time to cool down. I was posting some snaps, which reminds me, did you know I was the first person to create a music video using Snapchat? And by first, I mean only. And by only, I mean no one was wanting to do that anyway, which I guess you could say that about a lot of the things I come up with. Some more working and another toilet break later. I am tired. Also, it was more than a toilet break. I also used that time to brush my teeth. Don't get mad. I just gotta keep these healthy. Oh, by the way, did you know that I have one tattoo on my body? It is right here. And it was supposed to be a piano and go away after three months, but neither of those worked out well. Which reminds me, there are four people on the planet that have my art tattooed on them. Two of them are my paintings, two of them are my logos, and all of them are permanent and very flattering to me. Okay, it's definitely night shift time. Just find it. There we go. This guy, much better. Did I mention paintings? Because, yeah, I have this project called Free Paintings where I've given away over 2,500 pop art paintings to strangers all over the world. And am I still doing it? Maybe, uh, don't request one. Huh. I'm sorry, I'm just tired. Now it's time to see if I can sleep in such comfort. Also, why have I been wearing my glasses this whole time? I'm nearsighted. Nothing in the past 13 hours has been far. Just remembered my furridor closet has leftover fur in it. This will be very helpful for the snoozing. 
<laughs> it's like 6 a.m. and this floor is being unforgiving. How am I punning at this hour? Okay, it looks like that's it. I'm gonna forgo getting any more sleep. You know, when I made this room, I was like, this would be so cool to sleep in. I was very wrong. I think actually the hardest part was leaving that light on so the camera could see me. Ugh, the things I do for you, pa for you, pallies. Ah! Why? How long have we been in here? Oh, here we go. 19 hours. I'm counting numbers on the wall. My bed is very flat. I'm doing push-ups in a small space. Am I in a fractional facility? I can't say it. Fractional facility. Since I have a lot of time, I did some more thinking. I also could have said furnitentiary, reformatory, or infurceration. Look, I almost finished this whole gallon yesterday, which I am known for drinking. I'm pretty proud to say that if you search the word mimosa on Giphy, I am the first gift. And I once snuck alcohol into a gym to run a beer mile. Also, I made a river of green beer in my apartment. And if we're talking gallons, I once filled up a giant inflatable with 300 gallons of slime and slid into it. Or that time I rented a van and filled it up with 120 gallons of fake snow and then Ubered strangers for the holidays. All this talk of gallons, I gotta pee. Wait, why am I bringing you with me? <laughs> Stay here! I just tried to have my usual chat with my mom and she didn't answer. Answer. I'm wondering if it's because she's that concerned about being in my videos. That might be because one time for her birthday I dressed up like a donkey and surprised the crap out of her. Or that other time I forced her to be a pop star. I can't believe I've been in here this long and haven't played the piano yet. <laughs> Although this did fall on me while I was sleeping last night. This is my waiting to get out music. Definitely cheering myself up! This is kind of more like how I feel. <laughs> this is what I need for when I get out of here. My head's gonna explode, I feel like go boom, cause I'm stuck in this fur room. Where was this when I needed to sleep? Ooh, acoustic bass. This reminds me, my first viral what if video. This synth is literally called jump. I actually played that song on a guitar while snowboarding. Well, this one I can cheer myself on. You can do it! You can stay in the furridor! You're making a great video! Good thing I brought this in here because it's totally helping! I lost track of bathroom breaks, but let me just say, this time I wiped and there was fur. Why did I just tell you that? Have I been eating it? Sorry, I'm slowly unraveling, please. Forgive me. Also, did you know that I've been banned in Michigan? I developed an app. I have a U.S. patent. I voted twice in the 2016 presidential election. And I once broke a mirror under a ladder using an upside-down horseshoe while dressed as a cat on Friday the 13th. Wait a minute. Has this video just been a vehicle for me to make a clip show about all the outrageous things in my life so far? No, of course not. It's been a vehicle to make puns for 20 fur hours. I'm gonna put away my piano cords. It's becoming unfurled. Oh. What about those? Okay, I brought a couple of things on my deserted island to help me survive. You know, I can do this on a unicycle, in case even the nerds wanted to click away now. I'm actually the world's only unicycle painter. Again, there's probably a reason for that. Though my outrageous canvases are not limited to paint. I once made pop art out of 1,200 peeps. Oh yeah, and that whiteboard couch used to be a peeps couch. Anyway, I don't know if this comes across, but I don't want to be here anymore. I would like to get out. Sad juggling is weird. I'm making a point not to to watch Netflix or... What? Oh my god. you kidding me. This isn't real. This can't be real. I just... Oh my god. Of all the times that my smoke detector battery could run out, it's within the 24 hours that I'm trapped with it. It is so loud. Oh my god. <sighs> like, I can't describe... I watched playback and you guys can't tell. It is just... Piercing! Like every 20 seconds! Actually, I don't know how often because I've lost all concept of time. Frantically texting my friends. Why is no one responding to, hey, come please save my life right now? I can't believe this is gonna make me fail the challenge. There's like so little time left. Oh, uh, uh, if I quit now, you obviously would understand, right? I'm a musician. I should have brought earplugs into my quiet room because that makes perfect sense. Uh, oh my god. Caddy Zoo! Yes, please! Oh, batteries! Ah! What a freaking hero. <gasps> Holy crap, what if I catch on fire while she's on her way? <clears throat> I think that's her. I think she's here. Allie? Yes! Hi! Yes! Hello! Can I come in? 
Yes, please, please tell me you got a battery. What? What are you doing? Why? Okay, first yes. of all. Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god, yeah, thank this you. is so annoying! Yeah. How long have you been dealing with this? Uh, since I texted you. No. <laughs> oh okay. my god, it's so bad. So why are you doing this? Because science, or entertainment, or stupid. Why? Why do I do anything? Why did we make a drone one take, by the way? She's the one that I did there over your glue with! I'm assuming it's gonna appear like right here in the screen. So, um, as fun as this is, it kind of sucks. I should uh, go eat pizza somewhere. Oh my god! I've also been fasting, you a <laughs> Do you like um, hot chilies or jalapenos? Oh feta I cheese? Get out! I can't find the doorknob. It's so confusing. She's incarcerated. <laughs> Please don't die. Take care of yourself. I love you so much. You're everything. Okay, fine. Okay, I love you too, huh? Fifteen minutes left. Thank you for making it this far. I mean, far. And because you did, I want to give you a gift. Yes, this has been a list of a lot of outrageous things that I've done, but they weren't an accident. I live joyously, and I want to help you do the same for free. I wrote a book called Five Principles of Living Outrageous, and it shows you how I do this epic, silly stuff, and also small stuff like mismatch my shoes. Uh, that's another video. Anyway, the book lays out how I make myself superhuman and happy, and I want you to have it, so go get it at alispagnola.com slash outrageous. Carl, help me out. Thank you. I'm currently not charging for it, so go get it while you can, and I'll link to it in the description too, along with all the other videos I mentioned in this video, because yes, maybe this was a clip show. But also, it was a challenge, and it's over in now. It's over now. Oh my god. <gasps> air. There, I forgot there was air. And sun. This is great. Oh, look at this. A hard thing. Oh my goodness. Look at these hard walls that are so hard and normal and. Not plush. Holy crap, this is great. No, no, I don't need to be looking at you for a while. Oh, I can sit with my knees bent at 90 degrees. This is fantastic. I need deodorant or sh I can, I can shower. My tripod's in there and I need it to do the outro because I can't do the slappy thing without... Okay, stupid. Oh, it's still hot in here. Oh, whew, we did it. I mean, it wasn't that hard, right? I, I don't know what all the fuzz was about. <laughs>